literal combat ship LCS will be armed with fifth generation naval strike missile NSM Norway based Kongsberg Gruppen and US missile maker Raytheon had been selected by the US Navy to supply NSM this is expected to be a game changer as per statement published by Raytheon Raytheon will manufacture and deliver the over the horizon weapon systems under a 14.8 million dollar contract for offensive missiles loaded into launching mechanisms and a single fire control suite the contract includes options which if exercised would bring the cumulative value to 847.6 million dollars in this video defense updates will analyze why naval strike missile will make the US Navy's literal combat ship a powerful platform let's get into the details the literal combat ship LCS is a set of two classes the independence and freedom construction of the freedom class is spearheaded by Lockheed Martin at Fincantieri Marinette Marine Shipyard in Wisconsin while that of independence class ships is led by Austell USA in Alabama these are relatively small surface vessels and basically designed for operations near shore during the late 1990s the US Navy understood that cruisers and destroyers would be vulnerable to attacks in shallow coastal waters large warships like cruisers and destroyers are designed for open ocean waters and not for shallow water where these can be targeted by high-speed boats missile firing fast attack craft small submarines sea mines and land and air launched anti-ship missiles the idea behind the literal combat ship as described by former Secretary of the Navy Gordon R England is to create a small fast maneuverable and relatively inexpensive member of the DDX family of ships if required these ships will absorb an attack and protect the much more expensive cruisers or destroyers the LCS is envisioned to be a networked agile stealthy surface combatant capable of defeating anti-access and asymmetric threats in coastal waters interestingly the LCS has a modular design the vessels can be configured with different modules for specific roles that include anti-submarine warfare mine countermeasures anti-surface warfare intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance homeland defense maritime intercept special operations and logistics in the long run the LCS are expected to slowly replace slower and specialized ships such as minesweepers and amphibious assault ships 29 LCS contracts have been awarded to date with 13 ships delivered to the US Navy as of May of 2018 beginning in 2020 the service intends to shift from LCS's to procuring new multi-mission guided missile frigate with the notional designation FFG X currently US Navy uses the Boeing RGM 84 harpoon block 2 and the French designed MBDA exoset these are relatively outdated and don't fit into the modern landscape the NSM is the upgrade of Kongsberg's penguin short to medium range anti-ship guided missile the missile has a range of 100 miles or 185 kilometers NSM is capable of high subsonic speeds it has sea skim mode by which it travels very close to the surface making it hard to detect and intercept it's equipped with a 276 pound or 125 kilogram multi-purpose blast fragmentation warhead NSM features an imaging IR seeker which is complemented by inertial GPS navigation the missile also has built-in database of representative ship types to distinguish between intended targets and other objects importantly it can be used as an anti-ship missile as well as for taking out land targets NSM is expected to be placed on the decks of LCS's through proprietary canister launchers an LCS will be capable of carrying up to eight NSM's in deck mounted canisters according to Raytheon NSM launchers the missile and supporting components will be manufactured in the United States as per reports the US Navy intends to acquire around 64 NSM's by 2023 LCS is already designed to incorporate diverse set of weapons in a standard configuration LCS's armament consists of an 11 cell Raytheon rim 116b C Ram missile defense system BAE systems mark 110 
57 mm naval gun and Mark 50 lightweight torpedoes launched from torpedo tubes. RIM 116B Sea Ram missile defense system can launch Mark 31 rolling airframe missiles that have a range of 9 kilometers and has a speed of Mach 2. The 57 mm naval gun is designed for close range combat and has a range of 1.7 kilometers. Mark 50 torpedoes is a U.S. Naval Advanced Lightweight Torpedo for use against fast, deep diving submarines. It has a range of 15 kilometers and a speed of 40 knots. LCS also accommodate one MH-60RS Seahawk helicopter or MQ-8 Fire Scout unmanned autonomous helicopter. Furthermore, the Anti-Submarine Warfare ASW, warfare package is expected to become available by next year and the Mine Detection and Clearance MCM package by 2020. With the addition of NSM, the LCS will be well equipped to face multiple threats and even take out much larger opponents. Notably, US Navy has chosen NSM for future FFGX frigates also. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.